So Hope Mongers is a, is a site. It's about microgiving uh, for the world's poor. All right. What's, what's the uh, website? So it, the, it's hopemongers.org. And okay. it, it'll be, it's not live yet. It'll be live on Sunday. Uh, about... Uh, Communicast TV. We're here with uh, Sam Henry of Microsoft, hey. and he's going to give us a tour of uh, what is it now? Hope Mongers. Hope Mongers, and that's a part of the Red Letter campaigns. Uh, pretty close, yeah. It's a cl Red Letters is a partner. Okay. Yep. So Hope Mongers is a, is a site. It's about microgiving uh, for the world's poor. All right. What's, what's the uh, website? So it, the, it's hopemongers.org. Okay. It, it'll be. It's not live yet. It'll be live on Sunday, uh, about two o'clock. We'll see. At the because uh, so we are Microsoft uh, kind of charity challenge is. Taking it on and, they are. and building. We got, a, we got a good group of guys, Jason Townsend and company, who are cranking away. On, Excellent. You know, pulling it together. All right, we'll check it out. Okay, great. So what you're looking at is mock-ups of the site. And uh, uh, the point for Hope Mongers is, is about intimacy um, with the problems in developing c countries. Okay. So what we've done is we've designed a site that lets you um, connect more closely with people and get a little bit more than just a charitable contribution and a tax, you know, tax write-off out of the way you spend your your contributions. Anyway, so on the site you'll see, on the home page for example, you see a featured area mm -hmm. that uh, is important because not only can you give as little as 10 bucks to it, but you can also tell your friends about it. You can embed it in your blog, you can tweet about it, you can put it on Facebook. Um, if you don't... Now, I, I'm so sorry, I'm, just, yeah. I'm looking at the mock-up. How did you, did you do the mock-up in, or who, who did the mock-up? Uh, we had a group out of Chicago, uh, Clarity Consulting. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, a guy named Kevin Marshall and uh, John Reagan and John Rauschenberger pulled it all together for us. Did the, did the, the mock up? They, they did the mock up, yeah. So they, they actually took, what, so we've actually had a number of partners who have, it's, it's all volunteer up to this point. It's been kind of amazing. Awesome. We had Idea Interactive um, out of Houston, did mm -hmm. the um, branding and, and logo design work. Clarity Consulting out of Chicago actually did the web layout and, and got the HTML and CSS together. Okay. And then we have a group of about seven developers uh, here in town that are cranking away on the code and making the commerce engine work in the back end and tying all the social media stuff. Jonathan here is actually our resident Facebook expert, um, and so he's helping us with authentication. And, Very and, cool. Uh, that's and you're, now you're not at the uh, open social dev garage that's going on today. No. no. You're here. Just here. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so, so good all around. Um, but you know, it lets you pick what kind of projects you're passionate about and, and uh, help those people. You know, like you, mean, you see the featured project, but if you care more about clean, safe drinking water or you want to help, uh, and that would be like you want to dig somebody a well. It's not just like, your best alternative today is find a company you believe in, right. write them a check, and hope to God they do something useful with your money. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm going to go give you know, 10 bucks or maybe a little more to a specific project. So I'm going to give $10 to dig a well for the boys at the Kolfe Orphanage in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and I want to know when I give that money that something actually happened with it. So the partner has a feedback loop. You know, oh, to excellent. You. So uh, you know whether it's healthcare or education or care for. Now, workers. have you looked at because I I'm, I want to say it was um, uh, the Red Cross. They actually had a thing you could embed in your blog. It was a, a virtual, you know, uh, can like like the uh, the buckets that you see outside of Target or outside of you know wherever. A virtual. They had a, a virtual bucket you could hmm. put on your blog. No, so people I could see people it. could donate and other people could you know I'm just wondering is it that idea where you could actually have say hey, this is how much people that I've referred or even myself this is kind of how much has come through my blog. Uh, uh, I, or, I haven't I haven't done that. It, that would okay. that that would be a V2 or V1 done right. something. Um, right now our biggest priority is we have 120 projects that are profiled. Um, right. You know, that we have when and having just been in Ethiopia. It's not like this is a need we feel comfortable just delaying. So our priority is getting the site up so that you can start giving today. And then okay. if you can't give more, let's say you've got a thousand dollar project and you can afford to give ten bucks. Well, anybody can afford to give ten bucks. Right. Um, but you can also do one other thing, and that's invite your friends to, you know, participate. And so we've we've offered some ways to do that. Sure. Um, but now, where, where did the, the name come from? Somebody. Hope mongers. Where did that come from? You know what? My, when I went to Ethiopia, the very first day I was there, uh, there's a guy uh, named Mike Todd um, who's a, a, a uh, now a good friend of mine, uh, and he hand, handed me his business card, and it said Mike Todd Hopemonger. And so we got into this conversation about what that meant, and it's you know it's ultimately about a uh, monger is somebody who deals in something. You might find a fishmonger in London or in Seattle. Um, a hopemonger is ultimately somebody who is is dealing in hope, and we wanted to help create. Frankly, what I wanted to do is create more Mike Todds uh, okay. of the world. Excellent. Yeah. What else do you want to show us on here? Oh, that's it. I mean, you can, I can show you some of the other pages. This one is, you know, when you go, when, when any of our partners goes and um, 
is evaluating a community, what they'll do is they're not going to think about just themselves. So Living Water will do an assessment that lets you sort of ask, you know, they ask a bunch of questions. Number one, you know, do they have clean, safe drinking water? Yes or no? Check. And there's some variation, you know, along that spectrum. Do they have access to um, literacy programs? Do they have a library? Do they have any books? You know, check yes or no kind of thing. When they fill out that assessment, what will happen is they're, they're establishing the needs. We will orient some of our pages so that you can see a community and all the needs associated with that specific community. So, for example, the boy, I mentioned the boys at the Colfe Orphanage. Colfe has a bunch of needs. You know, they need a well. They need uh, a sec- you know, they actually have the, the security fence. They need windows. You know, all of the windows are broken out of all their buildings. Wow. Um, it's things like that. It just makes it easier for you to have more of a holistic view of that group of people and help them. Awesome. And yeah. uh, did you cook flying last night, or how long did you get uh, before? No, I drove in yesterday. It was, uh, yeah, or I guess the day before yesterday. Okay. Yeah, been Good pretty deal. busy. All right, Sam. Rock and roll, man. Yeah. Talk to you later. Thanks. All right, this is Kimmy TV. We're at the We Are Microsoft Developer Challenge in Dallas. Look we're into, it's the Red Letters Campaign uh, Hope Mongers. Guys, let's see, now we talked to Sam Henry earlier. Hey guys. How's it going? So uh, let's introduce everybody in here. I'm Jason Townsend. From? Uh, Barsville.net User Group. Alright, and? Rick Schroeder, same thing. Alright, and? Paul Douglas, same association. Okay, and? Kevin Whitson. From? Uh, Barsville.net User Group. Okay, and? Jason Ferris, .net User Group. Alright, and who do you guys work for? Uh, I work for a company called Newfield Exploration. The rest of these guys are with uh, Conoco Phillips. Oh, yes, we're hoping so. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, so, uh, so tell me what you guys are working on. Well, right now, we're working on Kevin is over there. Well, he's, he was working on the graffiti blog portion on the side. Okay. Jason's doing some Silverlight embeddable widgets. Excellent. Rick and Paul are working on the database and the DAO over there, and I'm working on the Commerce Kit. Very cool. Keeps you guys busy. Yep. <laughs> How long you, did you guys come in last night? Yeah, we came yeah. in yesterday. Drove back from noon. Noon, and then uh, how long? How late were you here last night? One thirty. Twelve thirty. I heard you. I heard you get to sleep on the floor last night. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Nice hard floor. Yeah. Everyone else <laughs> had a nice bed. How was that guy? It was great. <laughs> I guess there's no rollaways at the hotel. So. Exciting. You could have snuggled up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So, what's uh, what's been the kind of the biggest challenge? With the TFS. TFS. Yeah. TFS has been our headache this morning. Some of the logistics. Network connectivity. Network, Network connectivity. Where's uh, where's the TFS being hosted at? Uh, TFS. Easy. S A A S Easy. Made easy. Yeah. S A Yeah. S A S. Made easy. Okay. Made easy. And where's this going to be hosted at when it goes live? Uh, Hopemongers.org. Excellent. All right, guys. Thanks. No problem. Keep talking with you. Hey Jason, all right. So you got some cool stickers here. Let me see yeah. these. What is this? When I'm not fighting evil doers, I've decided to listen to the ASP.net podcast. Oh, you can't miss it. Decider. Oh. Yeah, it's a play on his little Bushism. <laughs> and what do we have over here? That's the best one. Let's see, when I'm not chasing <laughs> interns around the Oval Office, I'm listening to the ASP.net podcast. <laughs> those are excellent. Where did you get those from? I got those from. Uh, oh gosh, what's his name? I. Uh, Wally. I think oh, Paul, yeah? the, the guy that runs the podcast, yep, yep. through Twitter. It pays to tweet. Excellent. Very cool. Give us a, what's your, uh, what's your Twitter? OK Code Monkey. Perfect. Thanks, guys.